We have watched the state of COVID-19 improve here in the Metro. Evidence of that comes at St. Luke's Hospital, where there are zero COVID-19 patients in the ICU. Man. That's a moment. It's the first time this hospital has hit this milestone other than a few short stints recently. KSHP 41 News reporter Emma James spoke with health care workers about their hopes moving forward. Not too long ago, all of these rooms behind me were filled with COVID-19 patients needing intensive care. It's a much different story today, and it's a moment of hope for the health care workers who've been on the front lines this whole time. This is video we showed you in January at St. Luke's COVID-19 ICU. Beds filled with patients, nurses and doctors working around the clock. This week, healthcare workers are getting a breath of fresh air as the ICU stands empty with COVID positive patients. We were all very excited um, when we found out that we had transferred our last COVID positive patient. Um, out of the unit. Dr. Carol Freiberger has been on the front lines of the ICU since the start of the pandemic. She says the decline in COVID-19 cases recently is like a light switch. I'm pleased with the number of people who got vaccines because really, honestly, the number of people that we saw in the ICU were people that weren't vaccinated. I would say the vast majority, like overwhelmingly. She says another contributing factor is likely the Omicron variant being more transmissible, but not making people as sick. Meanwhile, COVID case numbers have decreased in recent months at the University of Kansas Health System as well, with 14 active infections and 53 patients in recovery Tuesday. Our active infections are really what we are mostly concerned with, they're kind of really staying stable in uh, in the mid-teens. Again, hopefully it will go down, um, but you know, one day at a time. And overall, I think the trend is good. Freiberger says she's incredibly proud to work with such dedicated healthcare workers at St. Luke's who've overcome challenge after challenge and taken care of each other along the way. After you go through something like this, um, I mean, the folks in these walls then become your family. While this is an exciting moment for those healthcare workers, Dr. Freiberger wants to continue to encourage the public to stay vigilant, getting tested for COVID-19 when they show symptoms, and of course, getting vaccinated if they haven't already. Emma James, KSHB 41 News. Hospitalization numbers are improving across the metro. HCA Midwest tells us it has one COVID-19 patient in the ICU, along with 18 in recovery. University Health has 18 COVID patients, but none of them are in the ICU. Neither hospital has patients on a ventilator. Wow.